security breaches. On Tuesday, she was grilled by members of Congress over the lapses. Last month, an intruder with a knife ran into the White House, passing through the front door to reach the East Room. There are also reports that an armed man was present in an elevator with Barack Obama during the president's trip to Atlanta last month. At the congressional hearing, Pearson said the incidents had damaged the agency's reputation. This afternoon, the president had the opportunity uh, to telephone Director Pearson to express his appreciation for her service to the agency and to the country. She dedicated more than 30 years of her life uh, to the United States Secret Service and to the important work that they do over there. More now from Al Jazeera's Shahab Ratanzi, who joins us live from Washington, D.C. Just hours ago, Shahab, the White House had confidence in Julia Pearson. Uh, so was she pushed or did she jump? Actually, just a complete lack of surprise in Washington that she had to go. There was this slow drip of information that had been released. First, of course, there was that pretty disastrous congressional testimony that appeared to satisfy no one. But then shortly after that, they were, they were, or actually during that in some ways, there were reports coming out that uh, President Obama had been allowed to travel in an elevator at the CDC, as you mentioned, in Atlanta with an armed man who had a, a criminal record. Not only that, though, but that the White House didn't know about it until an hour before that report came out in the Washington Post. I think around then, it looked like uh, a, person's, a person's days were numbered at the head of the Secret Service. There's also then been these various uh, reports that have been coming out about just how far that intruder got into the White House last month, again, contradicting what the Secret Service had been saying. So she's now gone, it seemed pretty inevitable, I have to say, uh, to be replaced by an acting interim director, a veteran of the Secret Service who in fact resigned in 2011. And now there's much hope that he will be able to oversee some sort of reform in the Secret Service. But one has to remember that Pearson was brought in to reform the Secret Service as well, following a series of scandals involving Secret Service agents getting drunk and using prostitutes while supposedly uh, protecting members uh, of, the, of the government. You mentioned this, this elevator incident. What more do we know about that? Well, uh, it was a security contractor who was apparently working at the CDC. It seems like, again, the Secret Service didn't file any sort of report at the time. And, it, and some Washington Post journalists and, and I think one from the Washington Times has sort of stumbled on the information. So, again, there's a sense of cover-up. I think the politely people are saying... Well,